We're talking neighbourhoods this morning. Now, Durban offers beautiful green environments, long stretching beaches with an amazing world-class surf, and it brings the heat every single time. Today, we're looking at another exciting neighbourhood, along with private property CEO Simon Bray, and this time it's Mshlanga. Oh, just gets me excited talking about <laughs> Durban. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a KZN girl. I didn't know that. <laughs> Simon, it's so good to have you here. I know Thank that you, you live in Durban. Um, what makes this place such an amazing place to settle down and, and build a home? Oh, it's a beautiful part of the world. I mean, uh, our head offices are just on the ridge in Mshlanga, so it's a, it's a neighborhood that's very near and dear to my heart. A uh, beautiful place to live. The lifestyle opportunities are endless. Everyone thinks of the beach, and I mean, that the stereotype is 100 percent true you can get a nice surf in before work in the morning uh, you've got lovely long walks on the yeah. beach in the afternoon so it's a great place uh, from that perspective but i think what's really interesting and, and what i love about this neighborhoods uh, project that we've been doing around the country is showing people another side mm -hmm. of the property market so i'm schlanger for years has been this stereotypical holiday town uh, but it's so much more than hotels and two weeks away uh, at the beach in a year. It's actually the third biggest uh, property market in South Africa after only Santon and Atlantic Seaboard. So we have huge amount of property value on the market in Mshlanga, which is yeah. quite exciting. Well, I certainly love it. Now, when we talk about Mshlanga, which areas does it include? Look, it's, it's not just Mshlanga Rocks down on the, the village there. We've got the cafes and a couple of hotels, but it extends up to Gateway, big regional mall at the top of the hill. And what's really exciting is the, the growth in the commercial sector that's happened over the last 10 years. So you've got Lelusia Ridge, uh, the office parks, both on Ridge side and Lelusia. And that's where all the blue chip corporates are, are placing offices. A lot of offices that may have been in Durban CBD up until now are all moving out there. So there's this great uh, new CBD that started in Mshlanga. Now, who will we find living there? What kind of person would fit into Mshlanga? It's very much driven by the, the corporate offices that are around town. So you've got a lot of executives, you've got a lot of attorneys, uh, you've got a lot of people that uh, want to live close to their work. Uh, Durban People don't like to drive more than uh, 10, 15 <laughs> like minutes anyway. Like people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So the closer you can live, the better. Um, uh, and it is quite an affluent area. You know, the average house price in Mshlanga now is 6.5 million, which I think would mm. surprise a lot of people in terms of how, how uh, expensive homes are in the area. But yeah. that just talks to how close and convenient everything is. And you really do want to live yeah. uh, on the doorstep of your work. Do you live in Mshlanga? <laughs> I actually live in the next town over, which is uh, Mshloti, okay. which is the new Amschlange. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool, but don't give us your address or anything, I was just asking. Okay, I know we talk about this every week. Let's talk about the property market. What's the difference between, is it better rather, to be buying or renting? Yeah, it's an interesting market. You know, there are a lot of apartments, a lot of flats. Uh, they're all relatively good value. So a two bedroom flat is gonna cost about three million rand. Wow. Um, worth getting into the market because it's an exclusive neighborhood. It's only gonna go north in terms of value, mm. uh, but in terms of renting, still fairly affordable. 15 to 18,000 Rand is going to get you a lovely apartment in Mshlanga Rocks. Yeah. And then you're going to have access to all of the lifestyle and all of the convenience that Mshlanga that offers. So uh, a great option if you are looking to rent. Wonderful. Now, what is the Simon Bray tip of the day? Mshlanga is a great example of how you can have a stereotype about a suburb or an area and uh, it might not be the right stereotype. So investigate your local property markets and make sure you know exactly what that market has to offer. Wow. Simon, thank you so much for being here with us. It just goes to show that Mshlanga is just yet another gorgeous place that we have in our beautiful country. <laughs> Well, why don't you go and log on to www.privateproperty.co.za and let them guide you through the right neighborhood just for you.